Hey, how's everyone doing today? My name is Hyline J, and welcome to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, I've waited so long for this game. I ended up playing the first and second game because I was so excited for this game. And we're gonna go straight into it. Uh, I decided to play one with the jungle because uh, I like the challenge. I played the second game one below the hardest difficulty, which was Survivor. Uh, and I might go back and do that for the channel, but for now, let's get right into it. Now, I know this game is about, basically, the end of the world. And we're gonna try to stop it, basically. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh, here we go. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was created by a diverse, talented team compromised of multiple genders, backgrounds, ethnicities, religious beliefs, and personalities. Although this game is based on real events and represents a work of fiction, it was developed in conjunction with historian and cultural consultants. The variety of partnerships with both instrumental and crafting of the world you're about to experience. Didn't get to read the rest, but you know what? Whatever, that's fine. For our friend Mike Sherlock. beating Square Enix he has made great games who's getting shit oh what's oh oh hello okay right into the deep end I see gotta love it always always with Tomb Raider games always drop you right dead center and whatever is happening Crystal Dynamics is a great studio as well. Is that, is that Jonah? Ooh. So, that is Jonah, I think. Oh, yeah. He looks so different from the other games. What well, looks like the plane jumped with or without you? Seatbelt, woman, seatbelt. Put it on. Loud ass truck passing. Could you not? Thank you. Ooh. What an opening. Of course, it's two days earlier. Oh. Hi, Laura. How you doing? Oh. I'm getting a real 24-hour vibe off this. I'm stuck in a hard place. Mostly a rock, but... That's a hard place. You're kind of stuck in a crevice. I don't know how much attention you can really be drawn. Don't cut your leg off. Oh, ew. Oh, e. Oof. Careful with that knife, you can cut yourself. Good old pickaxe. Gross. Shit. Let me do that. Through where? I right, and here we go. What we're off to a cinematic start, alright. It's all good. Love cinematic starts. Oh, okay, sure, that hole was just there the whole time then. Let's do it, Laura! Let's crawl out! Yeah! 
This also reminds you of the opening scene from the first game when she was crawling up the the op to get we'll get out of the opening of her kidnappers and we were trying to run away without uh, getting crushed by boulders. There's also a guy chasing us who was like grabbing our legs and everything. One rock down, two more to go. Hey, how you doing? Wilson! That duct tape? Oh, it is duct tape. Grab the other axe. Oh. Wilson? This game is beautiful. Look at that! Oh my god. Be careful the way into the site is full of traps. Trinity's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. Jesus. And still no salt leads on who's leading the local Trinity server. But I talked to some people in town, and they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Name's Dominguez. We should look into it. Which way am I going from here? Oh, this is new. Okay. That's cool. Because from the other games, uh, the climbing's still the same, but now apparently we can, like, jump from regular surface to this kind of surface, like a vertical surface. It's pretty cool. I'm glad they started doing more dynamic things with the, like, the movability in this game. Because I always felt like there could have been a lot cooler things they could have done. And so far, done pretty well. Dude, this, this game is so beautiful. Look at that. Sorry, I didn't wait. Be careful. Got any guns? No. Look at that. Ooh, hello. What kind of treasure we got in here? Oh, the weird. Beautiful. Oh no, that's not good. Is that like a jammer or something? Nah, I, I bet it's an explosive. For sure. Trinity to go and blow this place up. Laura. Wow. Get a load of this place. Mr. Man Bun. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity's after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. But oh, I bet they didn't. Mm -hmm. Why are you checking me out, Mr. Man Bun? You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink ah fish. Pink fish. Oh, God. date here but something's off <laughs> looks like it was damaged perhaps intentionally why would Ooh. trinity sabotage this they usually just destroy everything and now i think the damage is older but who would have tampered with it no 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 oh there it is laura we gotta go you gotta go you gotta go Run! What do you want to take your pictures for? Go! Oh my god. You better not. Alright, run. Get ready to run. I'm ready to run. I'm ready. Go, go. Go! Go, 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 go. Oh, you're telling me to move and you're just gonna sit there like that? You had him drag me out. I'd still be in there taking pictures. We'd still be in there. I don't know if you'd be doing much. Turner. Yeah, it's kind of true. Me group at the cafe. Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pinkfish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. I know the chef. Yeah, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm sorry. 
Can you eat a whale? Is that like the equivalent to eating a horse, but for like Hawaiians? What an intro to this game! I mean, Tomb Raider always tries to go big on their intros, but this is just something else. Oh yeah, drink up, mine bun. You gonna need it. Anything new on Dr. Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So I don't you trust it? him. Turn a look. He's gonna ignore the fact that he asked about your leg? That's rude. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins, found only in the Amazon. It goes on. Um, then pink dolphins sound amazing. The serpent to the silver crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River. Brazil. Peru. Peru? Okay, um, this date from the ruins, see, if you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it... What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000 year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Ooh. Has been in the wrong place. Exactly. That's my smart girl. We need to look for the silver crowned mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. Yes. Show me. Oh yeah. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. Oh, for sure, we look sick. But we will go after him in the next episode. The that was such of a great intro. Like honestly, I didn't expect it to be that like captivating just off the start. But jeez, I'm excited for this game. I really can't wait, but thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Highland J, and I will see you in the next episode.